Welcome back, Captains, to another Infinite Galaxy video. This is Dragothian here, and today we're going to be talking about the Halloween events. Halloween is here in Infinite Galaxy. Let's open up the events. I want to go through what they are, how to get the stuff for them, and how good are they really. Let's go check them out really quick. First off, you've got the pumpkin pie send-off, and i got to say, this is probably one of my favorite parts of this event. You get pizza pies whenever you do the rest of the events that are inside of the Infinite Galaxy Halloween special events section. And you get a bunch of good stuff here. You get, definitely get Corium, uh, more and more blueprints, of course, some VIP, and then certainly Rebel Citation devices to help you level up your crew members. Let's go to the costume party as well. If you recruit crew members, there is some nice little rewards here. Nothing major, but this will help you in the trick or treat events and also help you complete some of the other pieces like evil approaches. So evil approaches, it's kind of like the alien ghost ship event, but with Halloween style. So you get rewards like crystal balls when you kill the Saiga, uh, and you get rewards, you get ghost candies, you get other certificate shards. So you can summon not only a Saiga, but also other different. Now we got the trick or treat event. Now trick or treat event, you get Laura as a possible reward. She's really good. You want to level her up as much as possible. You also have Greg Lee here, very, very strong commander as well. You definitely want to have this crew member leveled up big time when it comes to your uh, gathering and different things that he offers. Also repair speed, really, really strong. But you need two different things to do that. You need the crystal ball and you need the ghost candies. Now, you also have Helen Gremium here. I'm not a huge fan of her because I don't use lasers very much, but if you're a laser type commander, you might want to go ahead and have her on one of your ships that's laser based. Otherwise, she does kind of okay, right? So so laser weapon, bonus attack, and if you're a captain, that just bo uh, boosts it even further on the laser weapons. Now, there's also some other good stuff here. Obviously, speed ups. You've seen my videos with Infinite Galaxy when it comes to speed ups. You need resources <laughs> to use speed ups. Um, so I don't really go after the speed ups very much in these types of events, although there are nice to have if you have extras to use. Here are some resources that you can get, although I don't see any plasma, which is unfortunate. You can get some nickel steel, which is nice. You can definitely get that there. You can only do it twice, though. And you also have these here, outfitting casting packs. These are good to get. Getting these outfitting materials are strong. You need to have as many materials as possible. Things that you want to focus on on the trick-or-treat portion of this event, I definitely would try and save up enough to get Laura if you can. Uh, Greg Lee is also a really good one to get. I would prioritize Laura over Greg Lee just a little bit. And then also, again, really start focusing on getting the outfitting casting packs. Those would be my top three that I would select for myself. And then you can start working on the resources. I would still, again, Helen Gremium is good, but she's not like a top tier priority for me personally. Um, now we're talking about other things here. So as evil approaches, you've got other different things going on. When we open up our Alliance gifts, we're doing a bunch of these ghost ship type things. Okay. And as you can see here, my Alliance is really going strong on getting these things done. Look at this. You get a pumpkin pie whenever you uh, defeat some of these different um, ghost ships kind of things. So you have the Shag Shagornith's uh, loot. You also have the Saiga's loot. And both of these have the opportunity to drop those pizza pies. I'm going to open up some of the pizza pies here on the ch on the video uh, shortly here to show you what you can get. Of course, as you do them, you also have the possibility of getting resources, speed ups, VIP points, etc. But the pizza pies are very, very nice. So as you can see, we've done quite a few of these. I think when I logged in this morning from last night, we had an additional 200 of these gifts, which means we did 200 of these Saiga loots or the Shagoranus loots. So pretty, pretty sweet here. Um, and again, you're getting a lot of pizza pies. So let's go over here and let's, well, let me open up these two, because why not? Um, then let's go ahead and go to the depot and show you some of the pizza pies. So as you can see, pumpkin pie, level three. They look like pizza pies to me anyway, but they are pumpkin pies. That's why I've been calling them pizza pies, but they are pumpkin pies. Uh, you get the pumpkin pie level three here. You also have the level four. There's a level five, which is the legendary version. I'm, I'm curious to see what that is. And then you have level one and level two. So you have five levels, just like you have when you buy a pack or something like that. You have different levels that give you different sets of rewards. Let's start with the level one and let's see what it gives you. We're gonna open up one at a time and then we're gonna open them up all up at the same time. Here are the ghost candies as well. Here are the alien spirit teleporters. And then we do have the crystal ball 
get by killing Saiga can be exchanged for rewards in the trick or treat event. You want to have as many of these as possible. Very, very strong. Now, this is, these are the things that you combine together to fuse to create a minion certificate, which is what you open up to summon one of those uh, ghost ship type deals. So let's go ahead and start with level one here. Pumpkin pie level one. We get 30 Corium. Okay, that's not bad. Level two, 30 Corium. Okay. I'm sure there's a spread of different things that you get. Here's level three, which seems to be the most popular that we get here. There's 50 Corium. Level four, 75 Fed credits. Okay. And level five, I've only got one of these, so it's only going to give me one of the possible rewards here. Okay, VIP points, 150 VIP points from that. That's not bad. All right, so let's open up all of the level ones and see what else we can get. We got some fed credits and some speed ups. Level two, let's open up all of those. Fed credits, speed ups, and corium. Okay, three. This is a big one. This is 100 level three pumpkin pies. There we go. Okay, so some rebel citation devices, speed ups, VIP points, fed credits, and a nice set of corium there. Level four, we only have one left. That's a one hour speed up. Very nice. Okay, I'll take that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Awesome. All right, cool deal. So let's go back to the events here and let's see what, what we look like here. I've collected all my Galaxy Star stuff. Uh, I should probably open up 15 crew members to get this as well, the crystal ball. And then here's the trick or treat. So I'm short 40 crystal balls and about 70... Uh, ghost candies to get Laura. We've got three days left in the event. You just want to continue to do pirates. You want to continue to do um, the rallies on the special uh, summons for this event to get all the good stuff that you need to go ahead and get these rewards. These rewards, again, are pretty good. I like the rewards that you're getting, not only from the end game event right here, Trick or Treat, but also just doing the actual event. You're getting a lot of stuff. As you can see, I got quite a bit of Corium, quite a bit of uh, Rebel Citation devices, quite a bit of uh, resources, speed ups, and then certainly um, getting more Fed credits is very strong as well. So I've got all my ships out right now, so I can't do any in particular for you right now, but let's go and look at some of the packs as well that you can get for this event. So the packs here and special. They're in special here, so you've got, let me see, there it is. Limited time special, you have Ghost Candy and you have Crystal Ball. Um, as you buy them, as you can see, I can scale them without having to buy them. Very inexpensive, $2, $4, and $6. That gets you 220 plus 150, that's 370, plus 100, that's 470 ghost candies for, what is that, six plus four, that's 10, $12. $12 gets you 600 plus ghost candies, plus some VIP points and alliance gifts. On the crystal ball section, you get 20 there. You get another 30 there, that's plenty to get you Laura. Uh, and that's nine dollars and six dollars and then you have another one at 40 that'll get you both greg lee and laura um if you get all three of those packs as well again no resources no speed ups none of that stuff you just get vip points and the special rewards for the trick-or-treat event which again is right here and that should get you, that would definitely get you laura and greg lee now you don't have to get those you can get what you need for laura and greg lee you just need to basically be pounding the event and get everything that you need for the event. And it's, again, it's a four day event, maybe five day event. It might be five day event. Right now it's got three days and 10 hours left. I wanna say this popped the day before yesterday. So it should be a five day event. Um, and that being said, again, I mean, it's, it's really easy to do. You're just playing the game as normal, nothing special. It's just, you're gonna be rallying those different, uh, those different things that you are uh, summoning with the event. So again, the Saiga and the Shagornets event. So you have both of those things getting summoned and they're giving you the pizza pies, they're giving you everything you need there. And again, with the event here, let me show this one more time. So where's that costume party? No, evil approaches right here. So you hit go and I don't think it's gonna show here. Yeah, it's not showing everything summoned, but it wants you to kill uh, space pirates to get more and more rewards there and give you everything you need. Uh, to do the event so again you're giving a lot you're getting a lot of stuff uh, i think that this is a good event uh, for you to do it's not helping so much on the outfitting stuff there's a couple rewards there for outfitting but it's a nice little event to give you some extra crew member uh, tickets um, let's go ahead and round the video out with doing 15 summons so we can finish up that one um no that's not what i wanted uh finish up that one portion of the event so we're going to do 10 summons here on this one 
Ooh, we got a Palmalthus there and a full Aldrich, Aldrich Chase Corey. That's good. From the 10 summon. Ooh. So we got a Bolt and a Palmalthus. Very nice. Only one fragment, though, so nothing crazy, but still, still good. All right, let's do five uh, singles at a time here. There's three of Dorothy Milton. Okay, that's one of our greens that we're going to inevitably get. Got Andrea Bruno. Very nice. Julian Bell. And finally, another Andrea Bruno. Okay, cool. So that should be our 15. Let's go back to the events. Costume party. And now we're going to get these. So again, we get ghost candies. We get resource chests, which again, poo-poo. These aren't very good at all. Uh, and speed ups, which are not... That's not the reason we're doing it. We're, we're doing it to get the crystal ball, and we're doing it to get the ghost candies. So let's do that. Let's collect our rewards here. You need to get, you need to summon 15 times to get the rewards, and this is every day. So you summon 15 a day, and you get these rewards each day. And again, you get one crystal ball per day, and I'll give you five per day for free as long as you have your Rebel Citation devices to go ahead and unlock them and open them up. So really nice little event here. I like it. Uh, if you do end up buying some of the packs to get the crystal balls and the uh, the candies, you do get a, re a reward as well. They have Eagle of Asteria here, which will give you bonus uh, bonus points here to give you more stuff. Crystal ball, crystal ball. Also, you get flagship blueprints possibly here as you open those chests up. And then same thing here for the terminal level three and level two very nice and then more flagship xp uh, as well which is always good too i, I would prefer if they were going to do this with during the event to have all of them with the event stuff because you I mean you're buying anyway you might as well get the event stuff too but uh, or better i guess better rewards might have been a better thing maybe maybe a crew member uh, blueprint setup or something like that but otherwise very strong guys i like the event it's it's fun and um i'm gonna make sure that i max out this event each day so that uh, I get the maximum rewards without having to spend too much. Uh, I'll probably end up buying like one or two of the packs there to, to top me off to get Laura, to get Greg, and to get those outfitting casting uh, materials. So very strong, guys. Keep up the good work in Infinite Galaxy. Make sure you're doing all the rallying, doing all of the space pirates every day. You can see that I have a thousand um, energy right now. I need to get on it. I'm probably going to pull back my um my artemis here and get some of those things done because i want to level it up and then um also i will be able to rally a bunch of stuff too so hope you've enjoyed the video i'll see you guys next time cheers have a good one and take care